what do you think why it is important to teach students sustainability in the school is it a part of the education or should we part just add this into the curriculum integration and that's it okay again we will come back on the slide sir see this is the sustainability there where we are connecting schools engaging is schools and transforming the curriculum everywhere we are doing that leadership and the policy development creating a sustainable committee establishing a de dedicated team of teachers students and administrator to drive sustainability initiative in my school we are every day we are practicing it we are having so many drives so many things that we are every day we are encouraging the students that to go through that eeg drive and sometimes they are collecting the plastic drives the can drives they know how to you how to recycle it we have recycling center and this practice is now i can see this practice in india as well india's a school there are many schools in india that are practicing every day every day they are practicing it develop a sustainable policy we should have a craft and clear and comprehensive sustainability policy 
that outline the school's commitment to sustainable practices and goals. First of all, I would like to focus on this one, that curriculum integration, because we all know that we already need a sustainable future. But right now, we should have a curriculum integration also, because many schools are already attempting it and they are getting the curriculum integration as a SDG into their school. But many still are, many are there like urban area, rural area, they are not aware with the sustainable development goals or what is sustainability and how they can infuse the sustainability into the curriculum or cross-curriculum projects. So for that also, we are thinking to make some projects like that and we are we will do some initiative uh, in the urban areas and rural area to align sustainability with existing subjects and develop a specific unit or project that explore the environmental, social and economic aspects. We will definitely work on that. Asha, ma'am, are you there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, there were a uh, few responses, ma'am. Uh, they are yes. telling uh, uh, it is a part of education uh, because they are they have become responsible uh, because all students' uh, family background is different. Uh, they are present enough in this world. Then uh, it is uh, prepare. It is to prepare them for life. Uh, then Supriya ma'am says to inculcate responsibility to understand the need for conservation, uh, they become responsible. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Those yes, are the yeah. Sustainability helps the students to have um to to be more responsible. Um, John sir is telling. Yes. Uh, ma'am, can you paste the padded link in the chat box also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, YouTube chat box. So I can hear. I can read the comments. Yes, Supriya ma'am, that to inculcate responsibility to understand the need for the conservation, right? But many of them not, uh, for me, I think it's not only the curriculum integration part, it is everywhere. Everywhere we are going, we are doing whatever, we, even we are throwing a simple plastic bag also. It is a part, it, we should think that before throwing it, if we can use it many times, we should must do. So that is the thing that we are going to try to implement in our school and in our classroom. In Dubai, uh, I think we are, I am in Dubai that I work in Dubai school and along with that I work in India's school also. But here what I found is that they are working everything in a proper way. Like uh, they are having one group, environmental education group. They are making many drives. They are conducting drives and they are initiating the and asking for the students and for the schools also to participate. And in the, they are collecting the cans, plastics and the, whatever the recycling things are there. So everything, most of the things they are collecting it with. So this type of initiative should be there in the India's school as well, as I think that we should take the initiative. Okay, thank you viewers for answering this question. Let's go ahead. So it should be, as we know that sustainable policy should have a craft and clear comparison sustainable policy that outlines the school's commitment to sustainable practice and goals. At least the students should be aware, all of the students, either they are in the international school or national school, doesn't matter. That what are the sustainable and why do we need to implement that? That practice, we have to start it. Yes, as we were discussing about this curriculum integration, the it can include align with the sustainable existing subjects and develop a specific units also. Along with that, we have so many cross-curriculum projects that we encourage the teachers and the collaborator to on cross-curriculum project allow that will allow the students to apply sustainability and principle across the different different subjects for example like uh, sdg one is no poverty we can ask them that if they found any person like they are in need they can go and help them that, that can also include the charity and the drive they are sharing they need they will have the motive that uh, sympathy type of purpose also along with that that they should be understand why it is compulsory for us that sdg one no poverty goal what is the goal and what be the ambition for them There are some few practices that um, I suggest that we should do. 
everywhere that waste reduction and recycling energy efficiency green space sustainable transportation viewers i would like to know that if you have any kind of sustainable practice that you are doing at home they are doing at your school doing at your home in your community or in your society or in any kind of organization would you like please share with me here is the padlet link also i pasted there also you can reply yes ma'am we i know we are already working in towards sdg in india too but i feel that in some uh, that government school that are in rural or urban area their kids are not aware what the sdg and what we need we why we need to implement that in the school so this initiative should be taken place for more seriously there i uh, i explore many schools in india like uh, many schools are there they are implementing even they are implementing sustainability in their curriculum also and because of that they got award also mount abu school i i explored about them that's in delhi and rohini public school and uh, in uh, uh, up also many schools are there they are implementing sdg in their curriculum the link is working now please share yes yes we may thank you so much i really feel very appreciable by reading this that carrying containers when we are going even i am also doing that i am not throwing the containers everywhere if i can use it at multiple time i am using it this is small part can save the earth can save our planet at least a small contribution we can give and along with that we are using the plastic that instead of plastic bag instead of we are using the cloth bag also and we are asking our students also they are even also doing that they are making many thing recycle they are reusing their thing then reduce plastic use also so they are at least we when whenever we will guide them now they will happily do that yes good evening everyone yes reuse repurpose thank you deepa ma'am Yes, Nisha, ma'am, that's a very good initiative that your school has been went to participate in river cleanup campaign. Yes, yes, like this also outside the wall, we can do many things like that that they can understand what that how to create and maintain green areas with the school or to provide students with hands-on experiments, experience and gardening and an ecosystem maintenance, lake cleanup project. Thank you, thank you, Lada, ma'am, for sharing this lake lake cleanup project. Maybe that a ma'am plastic bottle can be make craft or painting. Yes, ma'am. So energy efficiency also along with that we can teach them that how to save the energy. It can help them to reduce their energy bill also, and they know that they are investing in energy efficient technology that educate our students and along with the parents also that about the energy conservation. How we can do that? How we can save it? many things are they've not in use it's very simple even a, uh, i think grade three grade four children very know uh, already known that that if not in use they immediately go and switch off so that's also a very good part of us yes the pam um, broken cups can be used for growing plants yes they should know that how they can grow the plants in the, their small balcony or a particular place where they can grow it, it they will include both of the thing they know how to grow the plants and along with that they are using the reusing the plastic it can be a recycle thing yes nandu nandu bors is saying that hamare school mein plastic collection scheme chal rahi yes sir we are also run, running that same scheme in our school also same scheme
yes so these kind of practice we are doing in that uh, sustainable sustainability how we are implementing sustain i'm very i'm much very 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 happy to read all this comment that everyone is appreciating everyone is participating and encouraging encouraging students along with the society also to clean environment camping yes amita ma'am thank you so much for your comment that you are asking the students to organize clean environment campaign in in, the, in their in their society yes ma'am so sustainable transportation also it's one of the part that we can increase them by walking biking or carpooling to reduce the transportation related carbon emissions i hope many of the students there higher grade students are aware with that carbon footprint or carbon emissions but small grade students are not aware with that carbon emissions so we will work that on that also I can, we, I know this is a, this is something on the small screen. This is the worldwide data. I will share this picture with you on the Padlet link. You can see that data that how we were using one six point five to seven point five, then nine, then thirty three percent. How every year we are changing the sustainable that uh, the world has been world is changing. Okay, so basically we whenever we are using any kind of skills or any kind of technology or how to implement sustainability or anything. we always use our 21st century skills critical thinking citizenship growth mindset mindset communication and creativity and collaboration along with that yes so whenever we are thinking critical we must think the critical thinking question critical thinking must be there it will help us to generate the question that why are we doing this what is the need of that and why making connections how this is making connection and identifying the patterns and constructing constructive knowledge and applying how we can solve it to the real world so that is the main question that whenever the any student or any teacher any person is doing this kind of thing they think in their mind that how they are connecting this problem to the real world the citizenship also that citizenship respectfully and positively impacting others also and being actively and along that communication should a part of their appropriately in, in yes i had a pointed a light and nisha ma'am is saying that she had a pointed a light and fan monitor in my class to monitor energy saving especially when they are leaving their class and that's a very good thing that it's very good initiative that she is doing the students are learning how to calculate the energy how much energy they have used and how can they say how much they will be saved by closing it on the time yes yes a lot of plastic pen sketch pen marker are already to be reused thinking of that yes priya ma'am that is also a possible possible thing that we can do so 21st century skill we have to use it while whenever we are making any kind of things like that that creativity collaboration communication and always critical thinking and a strong growth mindset whenever our student will think though that we will do that definitely they will do that because it is their mindset can if they want they will do anything because it is us we are just shaping it the shape they are make building it by their own self we just fill it with many things in them but what things will they will nourish that is completely de completely depend on them yes we are recycling pages of used notebook yes hema malni ma'am hema malni sekar yes ma'am i am also doing the same thing in my class i am asking students to reuse the waste paper do not waste too much paper even our school department our leaders also want to see the students and the teachers also paperless work most of the work we are they are we are giving her through the technology because they are using that digital platform so they are they are having less paper work let's go again yes so the another thing is that outdoor and experimental learning so we know that our uh, indoor along with the indoor we also need the students and teachers also need the outdoor classroom also how they can develop outdoor learning spaces and that offer a hands on nature based approach just now i read the command that one teacher uh, just take the students to the lake cleaning environment lake cleaning uh, that 
like cleaning project and then student they are encouraging the best out of waste as a part of the SUPW project also. So these kind of thing we can ask them and uh, we can show them the importance of greenery when uh, there is a, there is a, there is a place where are less less trees are there and there is a place where more trees are there they can feel the difference between them so they can easily understand that how the greenery is very important for them yes venka ma'am this short that likewise you said that they are switching off the light and when they whenever they are going for pt period and uh, while they are leaving for the computer lab, this small initiative can make big difference. That is why this webinar is going on. That how we can use this in every day's life, every day's life. That is my main purpose for you to introduce that we have to implement sustainability in our classroom, in our school, or wherever we are living in our community, in our society, everywhere. Because we want a sustainable future. That our future generation will not survive for any kind of that, I will not survive for any any less uh, endless things that we are getting it now. To great kids to make beautiful gowns and frock by using old newspaper. Hamida from Hamdar Public School. Yes, ma'am, I am reading your permit that grade two girls are making beautiful gowns. Yes, they can make it. Our school is doing the e-brick. Gitanjali Rajput, ma'am. Yes, ma'am okay so many comments i'm getting that how they are implementing the sustainability in the school rooms classrooms school premises in their society how they are using it that old newspaper and uh, that recycling there they are using the papers also board is name of the program fuel should be used judicially public transport to save fuel yes deepa ma'am yes we sh we have to take this initiative also that they can use the minimum minimum usage of own uh, own transport instead of that they have to use the public transport they should go for the public transport yes as i'm reading many comments yes we have many eco projects in the school like waste audit zero waste launch encouraging no plastic yes uh, in our school also we are going to introduce zero wastage program very soon we are working on that our leadership team everyone is working on that so very soon we will also get that no use of plastic cover and plastic bottle but still we are using it i don't know from where we are using the plastic bottle in a marriage function or in some kind of function there is less the small uh, they can say that it's a small plastic bottle but they never think that this small plastic bottle can damage the that much harm the earth so that is what we have to think about that reusable bags are a sustainable option yes durga ma'am we use mineral bottle as a garden pot no plastic zone yes we can make some some kind of zone that should be the no plastic zone i will work on that definitely need paperless curriculum yes teachers they are made or any other who is deprived of education helping old with their mobiles and household calls reduce i'm also consciously reducing my consumption of material things like cloth junk etc yes let's yes uh, so uh, along with that we are working on that field trip also we will we can organize field trip to local natural reserve farms or sustainably focused organization to give a student first hand exposure the main thing is that that they should be aware that why are we using it and how we can use it and how we have to implement that sustainability in the in our life in our daily life because if it will become they will have it because they are the future leaders here so they, we should nourish them with the thing that they need to be, they need to save many resources for our future generation. That is our main motto. That is the main motto of sustainable development goals. Many are already aware, but still I can feel that many schools are still there that are not aware. Many kids are, don't know what is sustainability, what, why are we using it? So we will try to take some initiative that also that they can, they can also be a part of it some kind of that activity some kind of drives e-waste e-waste drive plastic drives like that we we will definitely have to definitely do something with that 
Yes, ma'am. I would like to ask: Is there any question related to the cl outdoor classroom or field trip or related to sustainability? You people want to ask with me? Best out, best out of waste competition students. Yes, they can make anything. You don't believe uh, in the month of January we have we we have one uh, that NIMS Expo in our school. This is because as this was for me that that was my first time, and I was literally wondered by the kids' work. They made carbon footprint. They make carbon footprint emissions. They make they pro they make so wonderful project. I was literally astonished by by seeing their project because they have that kind of mindset. That they can do anything. They can save our earth. They can save the future also. Future resources. They can save along with that. They can make the sustainability houses, sustainability uh, that fly, sustainable door, sustainable that uh, walk path. Along with that, carbon footprint they make. That was literally wonderful. The product they make. So we can never judge kids' mindset. They can do anything. But the thing is, we need to guide them. We need to tell them why it is important for us for them to take. Sustainability, along with that, in a everyday practice. I'm not saying that it is for one day or two day. It should be in a everyday practice. Yes, ma'am. Eco Club is our school, which work different project to develop sustainable attitude among the students. Our school follow reads the educational planet. Shruti, ma'am. Good evening. Encourage student to use renewable resources like solar energy, wind energy, sustainable. The resources. Yes, we are encouraging the students, but anyhow or somehow we have to also follow this in the our school premises also. That if we plant the solar panels in the school premises also, then they will get to know that idea. Then the, our school is using this kind of energy. This kind of energy our school using. They are using these this because most of the student, ninety percent student, they are whenever they are they will learn what they will see. So they, when they will see a good practice that we are do, they are doing good practice in the school or somehow or in any organization or community, they will practice by themselves at their home also. Likewise, they will learn whatever we teach them. That why what they will they will learn whatever we try to teach them by visualization that they can see. Yes, we are there. Is, our school is doing this. Our school is using using solar energy. So we have we also have to use that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, general and ma'am. It is very good initiative that your school has solar plant implementation to generate electricity at our school. That students will definitely learn very good things. Yes, in uh, UAE also we are having two biggest park in uh, Dubai. Uh, one is in Dubai and was in one is in Abu Dhabi that are generating a lot of energy using solar power, solar pen, solar plants. In India, also that many I I also I also observe that many schools and many houses they are use they start using solar plant and solar plants also are there available mostly in the dry area. It is available yes, and it is implementing to generate electricity in their regional also. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead. Yes, I would like to share this one with you all that, yes, Dubai. there is one school in Dubai that is officially get the sustainable school. If you, is, yes, Vanka Lakshmi ma'am, instead of plastic bottle now, they can start using like in, the, in that, uh, glass bottle also glass bottle but for me if you are asking this question now i really want that this kind of cold drink or soft drink should be banned because this is harming the children's health a lot you know um uh, i was just to wonder that one day i observed that uh, a video on youtube on tiktok i don't remember the exactly platform that they were using the toilet cleaner along with that uh, soft drink and both work the same Okay, and uh, then I did the experiment uh, by my uh, by my own self. So I personally request everyone, whoever is watching this video, that please stop your children to drink soft drink because they are not good. Instead of soft drink, you can use the sugar cane juice 
and the, uh, that that uh, orange juice something like that now that can that can be beneficial for your kids to your kids health instead of this soft drinks because it is it is harming our children's health also these things should be banned if you are asking with me i i i literally don't want these thing to be in the market but if the it is about the plastic instead of plastic they can they can have the they have the option of that can that plus that is glass bottles yes do a project in their yes md asgar mansuri sir do a project in their locality local locality about the waste they generate on weekly version think of the plants how to reduce them yes sir asgar sir this should be everywhere it can be in our uh, urban or rural area or in a international city or national city this type of project should be there in everywhere yes coconut water that coconut water is very healthy for the skin and bother the kids also but still they want to drink the soft drink but as a parents we should stop them because right now we just hand over them the technology in their hand so whatever they will see they will demand and mostly we are fulfilling it so we need to stop this thing also and please don't buy soft drink for them also literally do not buy soft soft drink for them yes instead of non plastic bottle they can make that uh, that copper bottle they can use that uh, steel bottles are there in the market they can use and it is long lasting also it is like a one time investment when they will buy for one i think uh, one time it can it can be use for one year at least or maybe 10 month or 12 month but plastic bottle every month i think every month or every twice a month they are changing it and they they are simply throwing it without thinking that how it will be dissolved it will not be dissolved they already know that thing but they don't know na how to dissolve and how it will be dissolved that's why they are simply using it when the caps are broken they are simply you throwing it Yes, we have to increase the students to use the plastic product, non-plastic products, not plastic product. Yes, we have to increase them. We have, we need to tell them that why it is compulsory for us to not to use plastic, because if it is compulsory for somehow any reason, we will use it. But how we can use that, reuse the plastic or recycle the plastic? That also they need to understand. steel lunch box plastic pencil lunch pencil boxes are also are there yes many things are there many things are there available in the market also and along with that there is a green club product also are there in the market that are not harming the nature like right now i can see that in many supermarket they are having bamboo toothbrush type that they are simply using it and when it is going destroyed it immediately it got dissolved so these things kids don't know it it is our duty it is our duty to teach them to guide them that they have to use these kinds of things so it will be beneficial for them also for their health also along with that for their for our future generation also yes devakar sir is saying that in our in andhra pradesh state government is providing water purification plant every school in manabedi and nedu uh, nedu our school yesterday today okay yes so uh, this is also a very good initiative by that uh, government that they are providing water purification water, water purification system yes yes the students should deserve the clean water especially in the rural and urban area my mail i i know i am repeating this thing again and again but my main focus because in city state or international they are getting much facilities as compared to rural and urban area uh, they should all they they must all have to get the all opportunity whatever we they are we are having that they should be aware because talent has no limits we don't know when future leader will come from any which area so every kid deserve this equal right that they should get the clean water clean uniform clean food that uh, uh, clean, uh, healthy food they are they should get everything thank you md sir that i really appreciate your comment thank you so much for this 
yes earthen pots bottle are available in the market yes sir see uh, this is maybe uh, whenever you will visit a market maybe you will found that it is a little bit a little bit expensive than as compared to the plastic but you will buy three plastic bottle or buy one steel bottle will cost you the same so it's better now that we should do some kind of initiative that is saving our planet saving our earth a little gesture by us or by our kids by our students will make a big impact on our earth that is what sustainability is that is what we have to practice sustainability every day see sir i just observed this picture i was just going through the sustainability then i found this picture this is the textile sustainability sustainability is are going to be happen in a textile industry as well because right now when we observe that most of the waste are coming from the textile industry and it is none of the use so right now textile industry is also thinking about the sustainability so they are recycling it the cloths and the wasted and again making it some very wonderful wardrobe wonderful cloths wonderful one set so they are also working with us edible spoons instead of plastic yes ma'am plastic that steel spoon we can use it now they can they can bring it they can keep in their lunch box and when they are coming back they can take it back and after cleaning it is okay fine so they should be practiced and it is more over that it is not harming their health so whenever we give something warm thing in the plastic plastic is warm plastic is not good for their health also so we should think in that way also that how we can minimize the plastic use because if we start this practice what today by today that maybe few maybe by tomorrow or maybe the future will be safe, will be in the safe hands yes ma'am students should be trained to produce the green manure using vegetable wastes yes uh, many practices are there but we have to start it to giving it to them that really we have we need to give it to them we will guide them they they can do they have very brilliant mindset they are they are they will observe very clearly that they can do everything so it's it is depend on us that how we are guiding them how we should guide them that you they what they what things they need to do So this kind, this this picture I also found on the internet, and I like this picture very much. That how the plastic bottle they are using it in a school, school or their corridor. So students can be much creative; they can do anything. But it is literally we have to guide them. That we have to teach them how what good thing they are doing and how they are making their contribution also. Yes, yes. students should not use the plastic bottle they can make the steel uh, steel lunch box and do you believe you don't believe that they whenever they are making they are uh, eating something from the plastic and it is not um, it is not well for their health also so basically we have to think like in a that way also that whenever we are giving them steel lunch box or some copper lunch box or lunch box with the made of the brass and the other material it is beneficial for their health purpose also okay so this is the sustainable development goals i know all of you are already aware i literally very appreciable to by reading this comment section that everyone is commenting in a good way and they are sharing their ideas with me thank you so much for this so this is our sustainable development goals and how we have to work and how much we are working world green building council this is the data survey i will share this picture with you also in the padded link yes uh, so we have one more thing that if we can have some engaging activity that they will uh, love that students or kids will love that like we can make some community garden or establishing a school garden where students can grow vegetable herbs and flowers teaching them about the agriculture and healthy eating they should know that agriculture importance of agriculture there are two things will happen when they learn about the agriculture they should start valuing the food they are eating and they are not supposed to waste because we will tell them we have to tell them that how it is very hard to grow the food it is not easy because when a farmer doesn't grow the crop he got very disappointed and sometime we know the data also when we read about the india's farmers condition so many commit the suicide many because of the loan they took and if the crops are not good they are not even repaying the loan amount and many things are there many 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 disappointment things are there so students or kids they must have to understand the value of the food they are eating or they are having in their plate along with that how much they are eating or how they have to eat 
which thing they are eating that should also be a part of their community gardens like they can grow the veggie they can check whatever the things are there and how we can teach how we are teaching them about the agriculture and healthy eating the nature based art also md is gonna say my school organize the plastic camp in every three months teachers along with the student visit the nearest beach yes sir the, today also our the sst department hod ms zinat ma'am na she has an initiative that uh, eeg drive that we are collaborating with the emirates environmental group and we were collecting the cans the uh, that steel cans we were collecting and uh, i think more than 20 kg can we give a hand over more than 20 just because data i didn't get yet i'm just uh, assuming at the more than 20 kg of uh, 30 kg we got it and we submit into the eeg department so now they will recycle it so it is this is it is just our students contribution that they were bringing whenever they were using every any every can they bring it at the school and they drop in the eeg can drive so this kind of things also we are doing just to increase them just to let them understand that how we are how they are the future leader how they can save our earth how they can save our, their own planet because they already know there is no planet b whenever i am asking question how will you say they only simply say ma'am there is no planet b we have to save it i said yes you have to save it yes different cropping patterns throw practically yes ma'am so for that community garden should be there nature based art should be there that they can use natural natural material to create art fostering creativity in a connection to the environment they if they will love the environmental friendly they will they definitely will do whatever they need to and whatever they have to they will understand the importance of sustainability and why how they are using it why they will do they will definitely do students this is the carbon emission footprint the data um, tracking carbon emissions okay school wide i'm just skipping this slide because i think it is not readable to the audience so i will share this picture with you also audience that uh, you can zoom it and check the carbon carbon emissions the school wide initiatives are that establishing student led clubs or group focused on sustainability project like just i read the command that uh, one school is having eco 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 group eco club so eco monitors can be appointed and they can check what uh, how they are focusing on the sustainability projects such a waste reduction camping or a tree planting so like that also we can do and uh, sustainable event events also we can create in our school premises or in our communities wherever we are that plan eco friendly school events and celebration including the earth day activities green fair and sustainable fashion shows also like using waste material they can make many things like new dress or something like that so they can make it so this kind of events also we can uh, organize in our school yes so the great migration how the childhood are using the indoor and the artificial things that they this is the database that in 1994 they were having the 25% then in 2012 they were having the 60% of the online gaming tools and then moreover that this is the complete clear data package that i will share this with you also that 78% mobile was there then uh, it earlier it was 47% uses then it was 76 then now it is 78% and because of the continue mobile using and that we are having that uh, towers we know i think all of you also observed that this thing that how climate is changing every day then whenever when i used to wake up in the morning in my childhood the tree, that that birds were chipping birds were there but now there is no there are no birds why because of the plants because of not because, because of the plant of the tower they whenever they are towering a plant it is harming radiation will harming is harming the uh, the birds continuously because of that very less birds are there on the earth so it is literally us that we are harming our earth but it's i think we it's now time to wake up that we should awake and we should take care of our earth and increase the students also to celebrate their birthday by planting one tree on their birthday also yes sir this initiative also we took uh, i think uh, last month also uh, whenever students are having their birthday they were bringing chocolates so one of the leader has decided instead of chocolate they should start bringing one plant so kids were usually very happy 
whenever the birthday is there in the, in the school promise they are bringing one plant along with they are writing their names and after that we are keeping it in their our in our school garden so this is also a very good initiative our leaders took and the students are also happy and they and they can understand the importance of nature also uh, uh once in a month or twice in a month they are going to the school garden and planting their own trees every day we are having a gardener over there but we are sending them sending them also to one or two time in a month to guard to garden the tree fair trade okay sir the climate change health and urban living so uh, basically this is also very important for us that we can understand this thing that how that uh, canadians are, can expect a storm wildfire and anything like that every day we are on the climate change climate is changing thank you rich ma rich the educational planet for such a nice comment textile companies are making uses of water technology advanced to avoid using lots of water yes ma'am technology right now and uh, along with that they have to aware that climate is changing and how it is affecting the health and the urban living that is also we need to under they need to understand along with that we also need to understand this yes technology and the education as we know that uh, all, already that online learning platform everyone is using but uh, in india i think again they ban the tablet or device but still we have some online learning platform that webinars are there seminar so I mean, uh, that uh, some kind of uh, online links are there that they can check the videos and everything online learning use digital platform to educational apps to explore the sustainability concept track energy usage and promote e learning initiative virtual eco tours like they can virtually if you virtually they can take that uh, many solar park are there every uh, many things are there they can virtually take tour and they can understand the importance of that importance of the particular park or particular thing that why they are using it and how they are using it and how it is changing so take virtual tour of sustainability focused location also such as renewable energy facility facilities or eco friendly factories in what will happen after the virtual eco tour they will understand that how factories are also harming our planet so they will have that that okay they need now eco friendly factories so they will explore new ideas they will explore by themselves and one i am pretty sure about that one or sooner or later they will come back with a very innovative idea that okay are they we will do like this we will do like that this i experienced in my real life that's why i am saying this so they have billion of ideas are there in their mind thus just the only thing is required that we need to increase increase them that okay you will do that yes you can do that and definitely you will do that so that's the thing virtual eco tours are also important in our education okay uh, by 2050 we know that 15% of global cng emissions will be reduced carbon capture technology can uh, radically can reduce 90% of the carbon dioxide annually about 45 annually about 45% 45% million tons of carbon dioxide can be captured but more than 30 commercial scale carbon capture projects are operating worldwide so this is what carbon capture and storage reducing carbon emission this is on we uh, this is what we are working on that and i believe that we definitely we will work on that so prof by professional development also we can have, have training workshop like we also got training many severial time uh, by our leaders by our superiors by our supervisors that they also tell them that how we can implement many things at our real life in the real life also like also if you want if anyone wants any kind of training or workshop santa platform is giving so much webinars so much things it is giving you by a live opportunity to participate and encourage yourself and checking many things like uh, training and workshop sustainable education here today we are going on going on it so they can effectively incorporate these principle into their teaching methods yes for i welcome all of the question if you have any doubt or anything that uh, you want to ask with me please i am read i am there thank you supriya ma'am for this
yes ma'am health education topic should be there uh, instead of health education you can use that show, uh, that uh, social cultural topic also along with the social studies likewise we are doing it here here in uh, ua there is msc a subject instead of sst what they did they combined moral social and cultural studies along now it is one subject and in one subject three volume like divided in the volumes and now they are teaching it moral values also they are teaching then social values also along with that that cultural values also they are teaching it uh, in one particular book so it is just like a along it is just like same thing that they can also teach like health health education also be a part of it so curriculum we can change as per our as per our convenient and as per the students demand but the health education should be like should be there in the curriculum sir uh, if any question is there i would like to welcome yes sir. along with that the united arab emirates had made significant contribution to the implementation of the school premises the government in collaboration with various educational institution and organization undertaking severial initiative as undertaking severial initiative to promote the sustainability within the education system as are uh, you know that i am also working in a school in dubai that is new indian model school we i just told you that we were already are collaborating with the emirates environmental group and had many drives can collection drive we had plastic drive recycling neighborhood also we were having then e waste once we did the e waste the students who were having the old mobile phone or old tablet they came along with that and then we gave it to the eeg that emirates environmental group and then they did it recycle along with that we are going to introduce environmental education program also that which covered the topic like climate change biodiversity and conservation so many things we did, we are doing every day in our school premises and just to make the students practice to understand more about the sustainability and the thing and the importance of sustainability but we have to implement this thing john said you will definitely get the certificate of participation thank you so much and uh, yes is there any question you would like to ask i really would love to answer it related to the topic instead anything okay yes rastogi ma'am are you there Yes, absolutely, ma'am. Such an insightful sessions, and like the queries and then uh, the suggestions are like flowing in all throughout the sessions. It, it has been quite an engagement. Thank you. There so are much. so many innovation techniques, and then so many things that is going around the globe that everybody is implementing. Doing yes. that is like such a process, right? And uh, yeah, what can I say? Like it keeps on coming. It, the comment section is flooded with that, and you are still. Answering that, so I'm just looking I, at the comment section. I, I appreciate every single people. comment that they are listening to me. It's a big thing for me, actually. For me, this is my first webinar as a facilitator. But I must appreciate and must thankful to the center team, center department that you people give me this this opportunity. Right. Right. Let me talk about from my point of view throughout this session about yes. as the questions come in. I can, we can wait for. Please put your questions in the chat. I'll be interacting with ma'am for another five ten minutes. So please pour in the questions. So uh, yes, so ma'am, I was thinking about the session. Like I have been through the entire session. I found it personally quite insightful. Like we know we talk about sustainability at corporate level, and uh, it has been you know it has been talk of the town. But then to get it into the school level, teaching level, and to yeah. nourish those the word that you use, a young leader, like it has been like that is quite important. We should grasp the attention at the very young age and then teach yes. them. Out of the curriculum, and then the curriculum can be in, like in outdoor activity, as you said, field trip, or you know, creating those engaging activities. I found it quite insightful, and then I found it insightful, and I saw the multiple examples that teacher across the globe are giving, and how you are familiar with it. You are interacting, and you are telling them, "Yes, this can be done. Yes, we have done this. This is a very good idea." So, uh, it like yeah, for the for me, the topic was like great. Education at this point. Yes. Uh, and actually, uh, and yes. Big, yes. Yes, ma'am. Actually, the thing is, it's not about the talking always. What I believe is, 
whenever we are discussing anything we should implementing it whenever we are teaching our students okay uh, they are whenever we are asking questions because they are if the small kids are there, they will simply learn we do not cut the trees save the water save electricity like that so whenever they are writing and i'm checking their notebook i'm asking are you really doing it ma'am yes we are doing it okay so i said i then i give the appreciation appreciation notes to them okay now you are the star of the week star of the month so likewise we can appreciate them okay even the is that young kids are there young kids knows that thing but sometimes what they are watching mobile and they are coming out from the wind from out their room they are not turning off the table so that time as a parent so as a teacher because teachers are not there always with them so as a parents also they should take care that whenever they are moving out they must know that the importance of energy and they have to turn off the lights whenever they are going so this practice should be there every time every day every single second only then we will have a sustainable future that is my personal belief right so it's the smaller things and it should begin at home the practice yes ma'am yes right. ma'am at home also in the school also or wherever they are going doesn't matter they should know what they are doing they have to take care of the things they are doing or likewise like they have need to take the responsibility of their own doing great session ma'am i would say that uh, so uh, i i see that all the comments that is coming up i would like to conclude uh, and yes there are many questions about the certificate yes you'll be getting that on 4th yes, of november uh, okay. definitely please fill the feedback form you will definitely get the uh, certificate by 4th of november 2023 that is saturday by the way uh, i see there is no further question uh, so um, if you have participants here if you want to know more about center offerings and the products and the courses offered you can always visit my center yes. and uh, okay. let's just congratulate and thank ma'am for joining it thank you so much ma'am uh, had a great pleasure for the interaction thank you here. thank you so much ma'am and thank you once again thank you for the center to giving me this opportunity to to to, to introduce myself and introduce my point of view in front of you all this for the first time and will definitely look for the future individuals also Yes, absolutely thank you thank all thank you for joining in have a good night bye bye thank you